We just got back from elective. Just a reminder, we went over grammar before we left and completed that. Also, we were checking your homework to make sure that you had your ad. No. So what we need to do now is we need to get those ads posted around the room. So if you have an ad that has a woman on it, you are going to tape it to the back wall. So you'll need to come and get a piece of tape from me. If you have an ad that has a man on it, you are going to come up here and put it on the board and there are some magnets up here. So if you need tape, come get a piece of tape. Do we just tape it anywhere? Both let me have it. No, I don't. Mia has it. Oh. She just wanted to. Where's the man? Yeah. Who is the man of the I get it. <laughs> Michelle, I have a double whammy. Double, let me have it. Just set it right there. Okay, thank you. If you have, because I have. You have a double? Yeah. Then you can put it on the table. Double, put it on the table. Hey, Miss, Miss, uh, um, sorry. Sorry. She said that actually. She said, oh, I'm on the what is this so I need to come back in a few minutes. Like, okay, that's fine. Hey, that's fine. could this be male? Because he's a male. Uh, you're going to put it right here. Okay, he's a woman. Well, okay, you can make that argument. Yeah, put it with the magnet. Do you need tape? He's tape? He's a something. Oh, put that one right here. Anyone else need tape? Just, you guys are going to use mag oh, magnets right there for, for those. Yes. Everyone have their ad posted. Okay, any others? All right, let's see what we have here. Okay, we are looking at the ads. We have in the back, we have the ads uh, talking about women. In the front, we have all the ads that uh, we brought in regarding men. So what I want you to do first, we'll take a look at the men's side. And what do you notice about these ads? What are some things you notice? Most of them are like manly. Like well, they're man or men. Okay. Very manly, yes. <laughs> Outdoors. A lot of them are in black and white. Black and white, yes, and we're going to talk more about that too. What else do you notice? Any, anything else you want to say about those? Yes. Um. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of things to say about them, actually. Uh, some of them are tall. About it. Okay, all right. Kyle? Most of them, like none of them have like really fat guys, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, good. They are all posing, good. Anything else before we move to the women's section? Ooh. One more thing? <gasps> yes, well, Sam. Well, the, the men they choose here don't really have to be attractive. Okay. No. <laughs> all right, that's a good comparison. Um, almost all of them are famous. Oh my god. Okay, you took yours, all right. Taylor? They're all doing like manly activities. Okay, a lot of ac athletic activities, manly activities. Okay, so to speak. Although, uh, look back at our women's wall, and there are also some athletic things going on back there. But tell me what you see. Tell me what you see, yes. They all have like perfect makeup and no skin problems or Okay, perfect makeup, no skin problems. I don't know, like, people always, like, kind of, like, that over and they're just, like, kind of, like, <laughs> you know, like, Okay, not obese, no fat rolls or anything. They're looking very healthy. Destiny? Um, there's, like, a lot of bright colors and stuff. Bright colors, yes. Um, most of them are smiling. Smiling, yes. Most of their hairs are, like, blowing in the wind. Oh, okay. Pretend wind. Okay, so it, it looks very breezy, yes. I see a few like the same person, but like in different eyes. Oh, okay. Ooh. Not many of them are famous people. Okay, as, don't really recognize people. as compared with what we have up here for the men, Autumn? Um, most of them have like makeup or like skin healers. Or like oh, okay, all right, yes. Um, they're more zoomed in than the men. Okay, interesting, yes. They are very fashionable. Fashionable, yes. Um, the setting is in a beautiful place. Okay, okay. They are very um, pretty. 
Very they have nice figure. Yes, they do. Yes, absolutely. So as we're looking at them, both sides, they're, they're pretty. They draw our attention with the bright colors. And they all look, how do they all look like they're feeling? Happy. happy. They look like they're feeling very happy. Uh, some of them also look like they're mad. Some of them look yeah, like... They're just like so serious. They're just like, like the girl with the, like, the hair that's like, well, that's me. <laughs> okay. Then, okay. And then there's another girl who's just like mysterious. Okay. So that, those are probably the more high fashion, but otherwise... All of the other ones that look kind of happy, they look like, well, I can relate to that person. And if you buy that product, then how are you going to feel? Like crap. You're going to feel, no. <laughs> you are going to feel happy, too, because you have, you have tried this product. Now, take a look up here at the men's section again. And one thing that we were looking at earlier is that we have this one ad right here. And there's no color to this ad. So it, it looks like it's from a nice magazine, and it's a pretty heavy duty, but why wouldn't they add the money for the color? Isn't it like foreshadowing, and it makes it really mysterious looking, so then you like wonder about it, and it makes you want to buy the product? Yes, I agree. And they have chosen not to put any color. Ed, go ahead. Uh, like, they chose not to put in color. Why? Why do you think? Because it catches your attention that you're wanting to color, but they're not going to give it to you. Okay. <laughs> All right. They're not going to give it to you. Why? They didn't do color because they wanted, like, all the attention to be, like, on the guy. Instead of, like, if it was, like, bright and colorful, it would be, like, cheerful, but... It like they want the attention to be like the guy in the book. Yes, because they're not going for cheerful. Add to your comments. What? Yes, yes. The Under Armour one, like, it's all black and white except for the Under Armour. This. And so they are drawing the attention to the Under Armour part, right? Yeah. Good. Okay, Mia? I think they're not in color because when it's not in color, because we're so used to seeing color, it's like, look at the magazine, color, 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 it's not color. And okay. it's like, bam. All right, and it's going to draw your attention, Destiny. Okay, okay, yes. One word, mystery. Mystery. Do you think for this particular ad that you would get the same effect if they had chosen to put that in color? No, you would not have. You would not have gotten that same effect. Yes, ad. I think they tried to like make the skin all shiny. Shiny? No. And if that was in color, they wouldn't see it as good. That's a good point, yes. Or um, it, it makes it more manly when it doesn't have color, you know? Like, cause, like you got like red over there, like bright red, so you think, okay, girl, a lot of color. Okay. okay, all right. But then you think, like, gray, it's like, ooh, man. All right, good. Well, <laughs> I think it was like, catch attention, because you look at the other ones, you see that color, and you see like, oh, what's up with that one? It's got no color. <laughs> and, and so you want to see why? Yes. Because advertisers, they want to catch your attention. For some of them, like the guy with the, whatever he's doing, with the one that, you know, yeah. Spice oh, bomb. Oh, a bomb. Okay. Um, and if they put it in color, and they put the shiny stuff on there, it looked like he was sweating, and girls would think that was disgusting. So they wanted to be, if they wanted to be all shiny, they could do it in but it's not. Okay. If it was in color, they wouldn't take it seriously because it's when it's in color, you get more intrigued by it and you want to know more about it because you're not like anything else. Okay. So if it's in black and white, then you get drawn to it and like, yeah. Okay. Wait just a second because we're losing our, our group here because we have had some good comments. You need to hear them. And so, Taylor, say your comment again. What did you say about this? I said on the other one, the one. This one. I didn't say oh, weren't you saying who was that directed to? Which audience was it directed to? Oh, um, Who's it, who is this for? Is this for men or is this for women? Men. Not necessarily. Women? I'm men. I well? I, I think it's for women because if a woman, like, sees a muscular guy, yeah. like, who wants this guy to, like, smell like that guy smells like, okay, <laughs> where's that? Then 
the show went in his hands and stuff like that. Well, it could make him like start walking like him. Yes. I want to like that. Okay, wait. One person at a time, please. Well, it's obviously for men because women don't wear men cologne. Okay. All right. Arguments. Wait. One person. One person, please. I think it's for men just from past experience. So if it was for men, why would they have their shirt off? Okay, that's a good question. We're going to address that. Yes. They have the shirt off so they can see what the men will look like if they use the product. Right. So, so you guys, if you go buy this product, you are eventually going to look like this guy. Okay. So, Kyle. Yeah, I think it's for men because you're like, oh wow, that guy's pretty stepped out, and then they're like, well, if I put on that thing, I'm going to. Right, so you want to be that way too. Okay, wait. Wait, hold your comments for one at a time, please, okay? Yes. Like, about like all of them? Yes. Like when they're for women, they have women on them, but when they're for men, they have men on them. Okay. Okay, could be. Works both ways. But that Axe commercial, it has all girls in it. They have girl Axe. They have girl Axe, so I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dusty? Well, yeah, it's more directly towards men, but girls can still buy it and, like, give it to, like, a man. So maybe a boyfriend or husband or something? Yes. Evan? Okay. Well, they, they keep saying that it's direct with men. It could, no, they keep saying it's directed towards, yeah, uh, that it's directed only to women because, well, to men, because uh, the women ones only have girls in them. That's not always true because I remember, oh, I don't know it was, but um, I was looking through this magazine and there was a Justin Bieber ad for cologne for girls. And I'm just like, exactly. because it works both ways. And that's what we're going to be talking about. And I'm going to take three more comments on this, okay? Four more because Sam had his hand up. And then we're going to be moving on. Wait, let's take a look at this again because we're, today for Learning Target, it says I can define media and develop an awareness of influence of media in daily life. So when you... At this time, 6th grade AM who sold butter braids need to report to the course room at this time. So when, uh, in your daily life, you're going to see these ads just bombarded at you every, from every direction. These are from magazines, but you know ads come from a lot of different places. So let me take my last four comments on that. Well, Sam? Uh, they said it was directed towards, it couldn't be directed towards men because he had his shirt off. Then like the Calvin <laughs> Klein commercials, he's in his underwear. What the okay, <laughs> all right. I don't really care about but remember, remember some of these ads that are on the women's side, I mean, it's because the women are going to buy these products because as soon as I buy that product, I'm going to just I'm going to look just like that, and it's going to be fantastic. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. But um, when they see it and they show their like boyfriend or husband or whatever, the guy's going to get the idea to get that or something, or she's going to get the idea to get that, and you know it's going to happen anyway. So you know, they see that, they're like, whoa. That's cute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. Lydia? Um, this kind of goes along with her, but I feel like it should go either way because he has a shirt off and a girl is, in my mind, is more likely to look at a magazine like that. And it's a guy's perfume, so it could lean her perfume cologne. So okay. it could lean towards the guy's more. Okay. All right. Okay, wait. Before we talk any more about that one, and we are going to come back to these things because what we need to know is wherever the ad is placed, the marketing firm has chosen where to place that ad very carefully. I remember when we were wa watching uh, the documentary the other day about product placement and just um, ads in our everyday life, they study where those are going to go and how they are going to affect people and how they can make the most money. Because remember, you are a target and they want to make sure that they can hit their target. So taking a look up here um, at our ad that's up, what is the first thing you see? What's the biggest thing you see? Eyeball. Eyeball. The eye. So what 
you don't even have to read this. If you saw this magazine open across the room and this was open to that, without even being close enough to see that it was for uh, Maybelline eye makeup, you would know that what it was. You are familiar with that. But they want to make it bright and colorful so it draws you in. So maybe you will take an extra moment to look a little closer at the ad and say, oh, well, I think I am running a little low on some makeup. Uh, what kind of makeup is this? They want you to, say, to see what the brand is so you will come and buy it. So we're going to look at a couple here. OK, this one, uh, does anyone play soccer in here? <laughs> I heard. Who was it? I, I don't. I've never played soccer. Oh, but but what's the person's name? Do you know? No. No. Okay. I don't play soccer. All right. This is this is Mia Hamm. Okay. I heard someone say her name. Okay. And when we were looking at the ads over there everyone's smiling they're looking happy but um, she's serious, she's serious. She's what else do you see on her face uh, I see determination determination Why do they have a and what else Kyle Shh, Kyle uh, I see like concentration or concentration so Kyle did ask the question why is this on here for braces and here's why because this ad is different. It's not smiling. It's not happy. It is determination, focus, and experience because they are playing on Mia Hamm's experience to kind of support this ad. At one point, all of those, uh, those are all words going around her that explain how much experience she has. On one of the circles, it says uh, 44,000 throw-ins. And so she has all this experience. Now, the point of that is this ad is for an orthodontist group. And they want you to know that if you are going to, to see an orthodontist, that orthodontist has more dental experience than an average dentist. They have taken more time. They have more experience. And so they want you to know that you are going to get that kind of determination and focus when you go to see an orthodontist. But look down here at the bottom of this ad. And I want you to read what it says. Let's see here. Do you see at the bottom where it says, our expertise will make you smile? Yeah. So even though you don't have the smiling person in there, you still have a reference to happiness and smiling. So one more we're going to look at on here very quickly. Okay. Wait a second. Let's look at this. Because you're going to be able to talk in your group. So I want to move us forward just a bit. So we have an ad here for what kind of cookie is that? Oreo, Oreo. Oreo cookie. And um, we, what else is on here? Um, milk. 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 Camera. A mom and her daughter. Flower. And a flower because this is for Oreo. Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. So then our next one is what? Father's, Father's Day. Day. Yes, yeah, so we have the same kind of thing going on there. So it's a kind of a repeat of an ad. Sometimes the ads repeat so you'll be expecting them. So you saw that on Mother's Day. So Father's Day comes around and you think, oh, I wonder if they're going to have these Oreo ads. You become attached to these ads. There are some ads on commercials right now that a lot of people are attached to. And, and if it were Wednesday, we could say, Okay, so, and you look forward to that. You look forward to thinking about, I wonder what they're going to come out next, with next. Almost like it's a TV show, but even though it's an advertisement to try to get you to uh, buy something. But uh, we need to move on a little bit more. So turn to page 108 in your springboard book. One oh eight. One oh eight. One oh eight. All right, one oh eight. All right. Now that you're there, one oh eight. Yes, you may. 
All right, the number one question says this. And before we start, do not talk to your group about it because I want you to fill out number one, it'll only take one or two minutes, with your own thoughts. So go ahead and do number one, not talking with your group yet. But it says what does your class think, how does your class Yes, it does say what does your class think, but we're gonna get there, but I want your individual thoughts first. I wanna see what you have first. Like examples? Or you can put examples. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can put example form, you can list it, you can write a sentence, whatever works best for you. Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. It. Now, you are going to discuss with your group all of your answers. Okay, share with your group your answer, and then on the sentence strip, write out your definition of media on the sentence strip, okay, that you have agreed on with your group. Okay, so make sure you discuss it. Include every all the ideas you think will go along with the definition of media. All right, go ahead. And one person in your group is going to read that sentence for the rest of the class to hear. Okay. Decide who is going to read it. All right, let me have your attention to the front, please. Okay, attention to the front, please. Stop talking with your groups. Okay, so some people are still finishing up writing, and you can finish while we start sharing these sentences. But what you're going to do is you are going to share your sentence with the rest of the class. So, who wants to begin? Yes, you guys go. You can go second. Ways of communication around the world. Okay. The television, radio, newspaper, billboard, etc. ads that affect consumers every day of our life. All right. Whoa. You guys want to go next? Okay, wait. You guys? Shh. shh. Okay. Uh, we have communication used to advertise products or services. Okay. Uh, media is ways to communicate to and with people using advertisements. All right. Guys? Media is a way of life that surrounds the birds and the commercials ads and more. Okay. Media is social interaction found in everyday life that promotes and ideas and sometimes interferes you. Okay. Media is the vast amount of ways in which people advertise, communicate, and inform others in ways such as radio, newspaper, television, and magazines. All right. Um, a way to communicate to technology. All right. Yeah. Ready? A series of non-print and print items used by producers to inform and or sway consumers. Okay. I thought you had some very good definitions of media. Now, I want to show you a definition of media. And what I want you to do with your group is decide if you need to add anything to your definition. And make sure that all of your group names are on this because I'm going to collect this as our exit slip for this activity. So make corrections. Let me put this up so you can check yours. All right. So check your sentence with this definition. If you need to add anything to your sentence, please add it. Uh, let's see, as long as you have, do you have something about uh, the means used? So did you put something in there? You have TV magazines, you have communication, you have about communication in there, advertise, you probably, you're probably okay. Ways to communicate through technology. Yes. Uh, I would think that would be good. Yes. That's good. All right. 
you can just add, you don't have to rewrite it, you can just add to it. Okay, if you feel like you, if you, you and your group, if you feel like you need to add something else. We need info, we need right info. Okay, all right, go ahead and add that to it then. Yes? I think that we should add something like well let's take a look oh, that's good. oh you can add that if you well you have newspaper right yeah. here so that that counts as print uh, if you want to you put etc so if you wanted to add things like magazines or something you could you could add any of that so if you if you uh, think like if you would look back on this later and have any questions about it and you need to add anything there go ahead and add it now so but that's good that's good yes that's good Yes. Um, are, are they showing this video to uh, all the teachers in the district? I don't know. Oh. You I just showed that. like the school board. Oh, like so yeah. I'm not sure. He just had like the hair and the length of my. Should we change this? What do you think? When you were looking at it, what do you think? A series of non print and print items used by producers. Okay. Well, you have the non print and print items, so if you're looking over there, um, do you see anything over there that you're it, that you're missing? The uh, only thing I might add. See how you have non-print here? Okay, that covers everything. But if you see some things over there that you want to add, like audio, just some examples of non-print, so that you could know what that means later, I would add, just kind of write them in there. Yes. Should we like scratch it out and do it, or should we just add like as? Oh, just add it. Just add it in there. That's fine. You don't have to rewrite it. All right. When your group is finished with your exit slip, bring it up to me in the front. Let me have your attention to the front again. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me have your attention to the front again. Thank you. All right. So one other thing that we need to do today is just to do a little review because there is some material that I know you covered in seventh grade that we're going to be talking about in upcoming in this unit. And so I have some other posters around and I have testimonials, facts and figures, transfer, bandwagon, and avant-garde. And so I need some, some people to read the purple part of those. Also so here, you can go pick one to read. Who else wants to read? Yeah. Kyle, Hannah, Evan, and Kyle, is it five? Okay. All right. Pick one. Pick one. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Evan, there's one back there. Okay. All right. So. Tell me again what you know about this from seventh grade. So first one, we well, just anything. Tell me, tell me some facts you remember from seventh grade. About so what? I will know what we need to uh, cover and talk about more. What do you remember? Everyone's doing it. So read, read yours, Fisher. Just, just the purple. Yes. Okay. Bandwagon. Everyone is buying it. You feel left out if you're not buying the product. Okay. Um, I remember transfer, and usually it's like happy couples, or happy families with their products. Yes, because um, if uh, if a maybe a soft drink company or something wants you to buy their product, they may show some happy event or get together or something, so that you can transfer that to your own life. If you are going to have a get together with your family, if you buy this same soft drink then your get-together is going to be great, too. Um, I remember facts and figures. It's where they like use the numbers to try to draw you in. Like, when they have a toothpaste, they'll say 99.9% of Oh, OK. Go ahead, read it for us, Kyle. Go ahead, read it for us. Statistics percentage is a number is used to convince you that this product is better. Example, dentist and doctor commercials, Colgate and Crest, house cleaners and Clorox bleach, Tide and MoxiClean, Stores that have bargain prices, example, 50% off all things. Okay. Hannah, go ahead and read testimonial. Advertisers use celebrities or just regular people to endorse the product. Okay. Remember, it's not only celebrities. It can be regular people, too. Kyle? Uh, transfer associated good feelings in the advertisement. 
Yes. Okay. Good. Evan? So new and cool, you will what? So new and cool, you will be the first person. Yes, you want the new one because if you guys have an iPhone, what is the the newest one that's out? And what does the C stand for? Color. Color. So you guys, even if you have one, it's perfect. You want the one with color. And you guys, I think we are out of time. I'm sorry. We we have to switch back to homeroom.